Today, the House passed a plan to continue our successful efforts to reduce spending, to grow our economy, and to prioritize to make sure taxpayer dollars are being spent more wisely. So this plan reduces spending below 2009 levels. That's below even what it was when President Obama took office. This year will mark the first time since the Korean War that spending's been cut four years in a row, a total of $165 billion since 2010. Now, the president asked Congress for an increase in funding for the EPA and Obamacare. We denied him those and even cut an Obamacare slush fund by a billion dollars and the EPA by $143 million. Now, this uh, appropriation reduces unnecessary federal regulations and it increases oversight over agencies like the IRS. Meanwhile, we take care of our troops and our veterans. The plan funds a 1% pay increase for the military and restores the full annual cost of living increase for medically retired military personnel. It also includes a comprehensive plan to end the claims backlog at the Veterans Administration by next year once and for all. So this bill is another step in our continued efforts to reduce spending, grow the economy, and to eventually balance this budget.